In this video, I'll show you how you can color grade your Galaxy S23 Ultra footage to make it pop and to make it stand out from the crowd. We will be using the app CapCut, which is a fantastic app that not only works on iOS devices, but also on Androids and on computers. It's totally for free. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best apps that you can have on your smartphone. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so welcome to the Smartphone Filmmaking Pro Studio. Inside the first part of this video, I'll show you how you can color grade and color correct your videos that you shot with your Samsung Galaxy S23 right directly on your smartphone. This will work basically with any smartphone, it doesn't really matter, but I have shot all the clips that you saw in this video on the S23 Ultra, and I'm now also using the same phone to edit my clips. My app of choice is CapCut. This is a very powerful app that works on iOS devices, on Androids, and also on the computer. I'll show you how this works in the second part of this video. And they are also very kindly sponsoring this video. And just so that you know, everything that I'm saying in this video is 100% my true and honest opinion. I was going to make this video anyways, and I just reached out to them and asked if they wanted to sponsor this video, and they very kindly agreed. So yeah, that's perfect in my opinion. So when you open up CapCut, this is what it looks like. You can see I have already two projects here at the bottom and at the top you have a bunch of different presets, but we will just create a new project. So just tap on that and then we will just import a bunch of different clips and maybe that one also, maybe that one. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It just imports them automatically. You can see this is what it looks like. You can go through the timeline and at the bottom you have a bunch of different options. You can cut, you have audio, you have text, stickers, and so much more. I have already made an entire breakdown of this app and I will link it up there so you can check it out. But for now we will focus purely and only on the color grading features that CapCut has to offer. To get to the color grading features, you just need to tap on the clip that you wanna color grade. So just tap on that once and you can see at the bottom now you have a bunch of different options now. We will just cycle through the right until we can find adjustment and filters. If we tap on filters, you can see you have a bunch of different LUTs or basically presets like you can find them on Instagram. Basically how it works, you just tap on it once and then the filter gets applied to your clip and you can change the intensity and so on. But for now, I will not use any of these filters. We will just go to adjust and this is where we can tweak the image like how I'm doing it most of the time. And I'm sharing now like my workflow. This will not be the workflow that everyone prefers and I'm sure there will be people that say like, that process sucks. But if you wanna get videos like you have seen throughout this video and also throughout my other videos, this is my process and I'm very happy to share it with you. So the first thing that we can change is brightness and I think this clip is exposed pretty well. Maybe we'll just make it just a little brighter because here darker parts are a bit dark, but overall I think that looks pretty good. Next up is contrast and contrast is something that I really like. I like to add contrast to my images to make them pop and to make them stand out. And so yeah, I'll just slide this to the right and you can see the more I slide it to the right, the more contrast the image has. And if I slide it to the left, you can see the flatter the entire image gets. So what I'm aiming for is something about 23, something like this. And something that's also cool within CapCut, if you tap on the screen once, you can see the before and the after. And you can see just with these two minor changes, this already makes a very big difference, at least in my opinion. Next up is saturation. And I also love some very vibrant looking colors, just like you can see in this shot right now. So let's just go over to saturation and add saturation to the image. So let's slide this to the right. And I don't like to overdo it because I do not like to over sharpen and over saturate my images. But again, something like 28, something like this. I think this looks very good. And I think comparing these images before and after, I think this already is a night and day difference. Next up is exposure. I think we can just leave it just as it is. So I will leave this at zero. Sharpen, I also leave this at zero because smartphones tend to over sharpen the image anyway. So I'll just leave that. Then we have HSL and there we can dial in the hue, the saturation and the luminance. And we can also tweak individual colors. So for example, if we wanted to, I don't know, make the blues bluer, then we just tap on blue and make the saturation 
you know, turn up the saturation and then only the blue parts of the image will be affected. You can also change the image. You can, you know, bring back some colors that might have been exposed wrong or where the white balance was wrong. But for this image, I think it looks pretty fine just as it is. Next to that, we have graphs and there we can basically make an S curve, for example, to you know, make it even more contrasty and you can double tap to redo it. So I think for this image, it already looks pretty good. And if you're more interested in color grading, then inside of our course, we do cover this more in depth. But there you can basically change the highlights and the midtones and also the shadows. So, you know, it would be too much for this video. And I think also for this shot, I think it looks pretty nice and evenly exposed just as it is. But this is where you could tweak that. Then next to that, we have highlights there. We can basically just adjust the brightest parts of the image. So I can just bring that down a little bit. You can see pretty much only the sky is affected. So let's bring that down a little bit. Next up, we have shadows. This is the complete opposite. So now only the darkest parts are affected. We can bring them up a little bit, maybe ever so slightly. Then we have temperature. I think this image is maybe a bit cold because you know I shot this in March and it's still a bit winter-ish. So we can bring up the temperature just a little bit to make it just feel a bit warmer and nicer. Let's compare it before and after. I think that looks pretty good. Then we have hue. I think this looks pretty fine just as it is. Maybe there's a bit of an, a green tint to the image. So we will just slide this ever so slightly to the right. Next to that we have fade and I don't really know what it does. I have not really used it. It sort of creates a bit of a, you know, a bit of a smoky part over the image. It, you know, makes it a bit more gray. Like I said before, I like my images to pop. So I don't need that. Then we have vignette, we can make a white or a black vignette, maybe an ever so slight black vignette. Sometimes I like it, but I do not use that really often, to be honest. Then we have grain. I also barely ever use that. And that's pretty much it. These are the standard things that I like to tweak my image. And if we compare the before and the after, I think this is, you know, a, a night and day difference. And something that's really cool with the app cap cut at the bottom here, you can see you have apply to all and we can just tap on that. And now if we go through the timeline, all the clips have already the same color grading applied that we have just added. And I really like this because this is a very nice base point for all the other clips as well. And in this case, you know, I shot this clip pretty much, you know, just 30 meters further to the right. So with this clip, I think it looks very nice. And with this clip, I shot this like two hours earlier, but I still think that it looks very nice. Maybe it's a bit too bright and we can just tweak that. So let's go there, go to adjust and then search for highlights. Can bring that down even a bit further. And then also the overall brightness. We can also bring that down just a little bit to, you know, to not overexpose the parts and yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And overall, this is just a super easy workflow. And by the time you have done this a couple of times, you know, it only will take you a cup, you know, maybe a couple of seconds until you can color grade your videos and, you know, make a look that really stands out from, you know, all the other videos that you are seeing all the time. If you want to stylize your image even a bit more, because what we have done right now is basically a color correction. And if you want to color grade it, if you want to add a certain look to your image, you can just tap on whatever clip that you want and then go over to filters and not adjust. And there, like I've said before, you have a couple of presets that you could be using and you know, you can just try them out, just tap on them and see if it works for you. But the one that I really like is orange and blue. This is basically a teal and orange lot that I'm basically using, you know, all the time and pretty much for anything that I'm doing. So let's just tap on that once. And you can see, you know, this is maybe a bit too much because we have already, you know, added contrast and saturation and all of that. So maybe that is a bit too much. But what's also pretty cool, you can just slide that down a little bit. You can see how the image is changing. So yeah, maybe something like this 35. Then you can also again, you know, see how it's affecting the image. You can see that's adding pretty much to the image. And yeah, that's how it works. And you can do the same for all the other clips. 
And if you wanted to do the same thing for all the clips, then again, you could be just tap on apply to all. And then this effect will be applied to all the clips that you have inside of your timeline. All right. So as I have promised in the beginning of the video, I will now also very quickly show you what CapCut looks like on a computer. And like I said, that's the cool thing. It works on smartphones, but also on a computer. So this is what it looks like on a computer. And basically it looks very similar to any other editing software and also very similar to what you get on your smartphone and also the features and the way and how things work is basically very identical to what you get on your smartphone. Just the layout is a bit different because of course the screen is way bigger compared to what you get on your smartphone. And the one thing that is very cool here on the desktop app is you can import your own custom LUTs. And a LUT is basically like you get here the filters, but basically you can create it for yourself and you can tweak it the way you want. And we from Smartphone Filmmaking Pro, we have created 10 LUTs and we have put them into a signature series LUT pack that you get within the Smartphone Filmmaking Pro course. But we have also created one LUT that we give away for free. And I will show you how you can use it here within CapCut. And below this video, you can also download this LUT for free. You can use it for your own projects. So yeah, let's get started. So basically it works very simple. Just go here to adjustments and then you can see a LUT. Just tap on that and then you can tap on import. And then you can basically just select the LUT that you have just downloaded below this video. So I have already done that it is already inside of here it's called instagram sfp lut because we also provide this for instagram and basically here i have already applied it this is what it looks like but this clip right here this is just the raw clip straight out of the s23 ultra and the way and how this works is i just tap on it then we go here to adjustments and you can see here at the top you have lut and then you can see currently it's at none and then just tap on instagram sfp lut you can see this is what it's doing. And you know, a lot is basically just a beginning to your color grade or enhancement or basically a look. So as you can see, I do not think that this image now is final. So I like to add a bit more saturation and also this image is a bit cool. So I add that, but now I think this image looks very nice. And if you compare the before and the after, I think this now looks very, very dope. So huge thanks again to CapCut for sponsoring this video. Definitely make sure to give the app a go. Try it out on your smartphone, but also on your computer if you want to just have more screen real estate. It's also super nice for adding subtitles to your videos and basically, you know, for all social media purposes, this is absolutely fantastic. In case you would like to learn more about filming with your smartphone, check out smartphonefilmmakingpro.com. There you will learn everything that you will ever need when it comes to filming with your smartphone. And in case you have not seen the video, where I'm comparing the Galaxy S23 Ultra to the iPhone 14 Pro, then click this video over there.